Welcome to our very first chanting class. I'm Sashwapta, and today we're going to learn a shloka on Lord Ganapati. We always start with Lord Ganapati because he is said to be the remover of all obstacles. So whenever you're starting anything new, like a project or a new assignment, or you're about to take a test, it's always important to pray to Lord Ganapati first. This shloka that we're going to learn today is something you can use in your day-to-day -day life whenever you're starting something new. Let's get into chanting now. I will chant each word twice. The first time, I will chant alone, and the second time, you can all chant along with me. Let's get started. Vakratunda Vakratunda Mahakaya Mahakaya Koti Surya Koti Surya Sama Prabha Sama Prabha Nirvignam Nirvignam Kuru me deva Kuru me deva Serva kadyeshu Serva kadyeshu Serva da Serva da Now I will chant the shloka in longer sections and you can chant with me on the second repetition. Vakratunda Mahakaya Vakratunda Mahakaya Koti Surya Samaprabha Koti Surya Samaprabha Nirvignam Kuru me Deva Nirvignam Kuru me Deva Serva Kadyeshu Sarvada Serva Kadyeshu Sarvada Now we will chant the shloka all together twice. Vakratunda Mahakaya Koti Surya Samaprabha Nirvignam Kuru Me Deva Serva Kadyeshu Sarvada Vakratunda Mahakaya Koti Surya Samaprabha Nirvignam Kuru Me Deva Serva Kadyeshu Sarvada Great job, everyone! Now that we've learned the shloka, I thought I'd talk a little bit about what the shloka means. Vakratunda describes the curved shape of Lord Ganapati's trunk. Mahakaya talks about how he has a mighty body. Koti Surya Samaprabha talks about how bright and beautiful and radiant Lord Ganapati is and how he shines like a million shining suns. The last line Nirvignam Kurume Deva Sarva Kadyeshu Sarvada is us asking Lord Ganapati to please remove all the obstacles from our path in whatever we do in life and protect us always. I hope you all learned something new today. Keep practicing and I'll see you next time. Bye!